Welcome back, everybody. Let's play The World Ends With You. Yeah. Last episode, we woke up in the middle of the street. Uh, <laughs> we could read people's minds. We got attacked by some frogs. We met a girl. We killed some frogs. And now we're here. So, it, it, make, it makes just as much sense in context. For the most part. I can hear the trains. Well, hmm. mission. Sixty minutes. Another short one. There we go. Failing face erasure. Run out of time. Face erasure. Crazy is all you've been putting up with thus far. Mm. There you go. We're at I like how the time on your phone reflects the time in real life. Or in this case, my computer's time. Um, <laughs> yet that's completely ignored in the story. Like at one point they even say, it's 3 p.m. No. While well, your clock might say whatever else. I just find it kind of weird that they decided to include the time or a clock uh, on, uh, on the HUD. Just ignore. Hey! Ashiko. Alright. Where's the guy? Cannot be scanned. By the way, if you stay in one place for long enough, you can speak to Shiki. Anyways. So impatient. Bonk. Well, the last ball disappeared, and happened to have somebody in red next to it. Neku, on the other, as opposed to Shiki, seems to be taking a logical approach to this whole thing, so... Hmm. Red guy. Oh, well, I totally didn't just try that. Scan. What? Well, I can still scan, it's just we don't pick anything up from it, so I think the pin works just fine. Wait, when didn't Neku ever know that the term for scanning is scanning? I didn't. don't think he was ever told that. Well, calm your ass down, Cheeky. I just scanned, there weren't any noise.
I'm told you to scan, Shiggy. Just scan and find them. Scan. Well, he said scan for them. Do I? Ta-da! Uh, a couple of dupes, but whatever. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> My cell phone reception just took a nosedive. Alright. Noise number one. Let's take it on. So these are going to be Tap Sykes. Shiki's just not going to be with us for a little bit, I guess. So these are Tap Sykes. Tap to shoot stuff, tap to lock lightning on enemies. Tap is, of course, the easiest and most simple uh, type of psych. We already saw drag, that being what fire was, or uh, pyrokinesis. Ah, uh, here we go. Slash, this is the one that sucks. On the, uh, on my laptop's touchpad. It's really hard to be accurate. However, uh, shockwave pins do happen to be my favorite kind of pin. So, let's do it. So I'm still going to be all, uh, but, uh, gonna be all stubborn and use them nonetheless. And at <laughs> a couple points, surely look like an idiot because of it, because I'm just trying to slash stuff and it isn't working. But oh well. Obstacles. Watch yourself. So yeah, so notice uh, a lot of the time that there are obstacles lying around uh, during fights, which can be so annoying, but because it'll just be in your way. I like how it lets me use power pieces in case I don't want to throw things. But uh, if you have psychokinesis pin. I'm pretty sure only psychokinesis. Pretty sure psychokinesis is the only psychic that can actually use obstacles in any way whatsoever. But uh, if you have psychokinesis, you can slash across the obstacles and it'll throw them at your enemies. I don't use. Uh, out of all the psychs that we've seen thus far, the only ones I ever really use are shockwave and force rounds, which was that little uh, tap to shoot thing. You can't see it. How do you know it's gone? Huh? Here comes Hood Guy explaining everything to us. Oh, it had the little dots over the eye. Fancy, fancy, Square Enix. Get off my case. I don't want them in the first place. <laughs> um. Come down! Much for that. Oh. 
how many times am I going to end up walking away from her? Alright, so. You can click on that little mail thing in the top left, and it'll tell you what the. Oh, whoops, tap the microphone. And it'll uh, show you your mission. But, below. There's not. Generally speaking, not really any reason to do that. What makes you think there aren't any other players? Honestly, beat. Mm hmm. Hey, that little pig thing on my phone is uh lit up. Same thing happened to us. Rhyme. How old is Rhyme? Twelve, I think she is. Like he's just kind of out in the corner. Unfortunately not. It's just been kind of a little transparent icon in the top right. Alright, well you're required to ask them these questions, so... It's kind of weird that you're controlling Shiki and doing this, but oh well. I guess you control Shiki in battle too, and by proxy when moving, so whatever. Yeah, I still use this pin in my main file. Yes, and today's mission as well, and having more things added to speak about. Well, I'm guessing you actually have to get over to it to figure out what the curse is in the first place. Mm -hmm. And lastly, Reaper's Game. So, it's never explained how it is that anybody other than Neku knows these things. Shiki, Rhyme, and Beat just kind of know them. The rules of the Reaper's Game. Probably. Anyways, enough of the questions. <laughs> it's always a pretty darn important thing. I watched this cutscene like two days ago, so admittedly I'm being kind of impatient. Huh? How are you still surprised, Cheeky? How's it not enough? It's the mark of a player. It's what separates the two.
The audio quality for all the music is surprisingly decent in this game, given that it's on the DS. Your drink! And full menu. It's nice thing to have too. I shall. So, we can now save at any given point. We can do all our items, which includes uh, stickers that we have acquired, all these little things that tell you how to do stuff, and uh, there's also this tip section at the bottom of each of these that uh, will actually go more in-depth for all, well, for pretty much everything. It'll tell you extra stuff on uh, any item, but in particular on these little tutorial books, it will tell you, I'll just give you a little bit more of an in-depth description. So everything, if you just kind of want to know more stuff, well, there you go. So when you fight a certain type of noise, pay attention to the symbols, stuff like that. It tends to be uh, surprisingly practical. Uh, a lot of it's common sense, but at the same time, there are a couple of hidden gems in there, in the uh, tips, so. So I'll just get, uh, stick to Shockwave and Force Rounds for now. I don't need Cure Drink yet. Uh, unless I'm able to hold more pins at once, I'll use that. Also, well actually, whenever you scan, uh, any noise that appear will actually make a sound as you scan them. And of course, it takes a really long time for it to make that sound, it's because they happen to be really far away. Oh crap. See, the thing is, if you're wearing headphones, uh, if something's on the right, it'll actually make a sound on the right speaker instead of the left. Yeah, it's on the left, it'll make sound on the left speaker. <laughs> Focus. I'm wearing a headset, but it's only making there's only sound on the left ear, so I can't use that. It's really useful for locating these uh, green noise symbols. Uh, the the pig symbol up on the uh, top right indicates whether while these are present, and if there happens to be one present, why not go ahead and take it? God, the awkwardness of slashing. So there's that. Oh crap, I forgot to draw off the autoplay. Look at that. Prank star. Beautiful. Anyways, let's uh, turn off the uh, autoplay. Can't change the difficulty yet. So never mind that. Anyways, so yeah, looking noise, particularly pig noise, is going to be a little bit harder. Uh, than it usually is, because I usually play this game on my DS wearing earbuds. Or, uh, on the emulator wearing headphones, but fortunately that's not what's happening right now. So it's a little bit harder to locate things. I definitely do recommend playing this game with headphones, uh, both for sake of the music quality and to be able to better locate noise. Might make this episode slightly longer, uh, both to fit in this entire episode, or to fit in this entire day into the episode, and to, uh, I guess, make up for the last episode being a couple minutes short. Maybe, maybe, though. Let me give the man some space. It's like he's paying attention to me. What a life. It was half decent at figuring things out, at least. I'll give him the hat. Here's the time I asked. I told you what to do to get through. Hmm. You didn't notice? Not Maui, or however you pronounce that. That's not Maui, that's... I'm not even trying. 
I never did know how to pronounce that, I'll admit. Moai? Versus Moyai? Oh yeah, so now you actually have HP from here on. And if we scan, boom! Surrounded by noise. That which we could fight if we wanted to, but I'm just going to uh Actually, I think if you speak to this guy, you get uh, some different dialogue, too. Do you not? I guess not. Alright, so let's uh, take out this noise. Whenever you see yellow noise, it's going to be... Red noise is just kind of... part of the environment. Whereas yellow noise will always be noise that you actually have to take out. Uh, this is actually... Freaking wolves, I hate how they run around. This day, uh, is actually the day that I used for testing, uh, recording on Destiny in the first place, actually, my emulator. Put up a video of that a long while back before I started Pokemon Mystery Dungeon X Stars of Sky. Watch yourself! Some of you may or may not remember, I don't know. I don't think of me will actually watch it anyway since it's just a little technical test I decided to for some reason air on actually air on YouTube. Not air, but to uh upload. There we go. Easy. Ah, almost a star rank. But yeah, see I get a little uh, bonus for not using any autoplay. For some reason if your en if the enemies don't drop any pins whatsoever, you actually get a bonus for PP that you get. PP is how uh, your pins level and quite possibly evolve, but we'll get to that later. Well, in fact, before I played this game, I actually already knew what Hachiko was. Loyal dog. It doesn't explain Hachiko's story. There's a reason there's a statue of a dog sitting in the middle of a plaza. Boop. Oh, yes. Indeed. Yeah, stickers are very nice things to have. So now I can hold another pen. Let's just make that cure drink, because I don't like any of these other psychs that are available to me. Well, that was random. That was really random, actually. Even knowing what that was, that was really random, I can say. Well, of course, Shiba is one place. Those two. Anyways, open up oh. your senses. More pig noise. Pig noise will just drop stuff. Uh, they're nice. To, that's nice to have. So, if you find it, just go after it. It's kind of like a little treasure chest almost. We'll drop whatever. Pin. In this case, just 500 yen, and not really giving me much PP at all. But, eh. Open up your senses. What am I supposed to do again? No. Oh. Just scan without actually fighting something.
Hachi Fest. Boop. <laughs> you just touch a statue. You just ga gather the entirety of Shibuya, just surround and touch a little statue. Charming. a little blue thing on it, but we can't do anything with that, so let's go. Alright. This actually took me a little bit to figure out. Uh, a little bit of time for me to figure out the first time I played through for some reason. If I could only polish away the stains on his weary heart. And he's red texting polish for some reason. Polish away his pain. We could have pointed out that weird mark when we first saw it, you know. <laughs> so we saw him just found a magic marker. I had figured that we just had to look around for info. Here, and it's scanning him what really yield anything new, but I was wrong, so it took me f like a half hour to figure this whole thing out. So now, if we go over to Hachiko and actually examine him, we can polish him. Well, they, they have a whole festival for it, they're not really gonna care, I think. Bro, polish, touch the world, <laughs> big dog tongue. Doop, 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 doop. It looks a little bit different. I like how for this one little scene, the background actually changes. You see a uh, Hushiko statue colored differently in the background. Now, I don't know why it is that there are three wolves now, given that he just kind of made one appear, but whatever. I can't wait to have more pins so I can... Whoa, that, that stunned them when they ran to me when I leveled up? So yeah, you can level up and stuff. That's not something I'm really used to ever doing, because I'm usually level 100 in my main vial. But, uh, not really sucked. But <laughs> apparently if enemies touch you while you level up, you they get stunned. But it'll also completely restore your health, and I'll explain what levels actually do in this game in a minute, because they're a little bit different than they are in most games. Well, actually, I might have to explain that next episode, because that's going to be it for this episode of... Well, not it for this episode yet, but that's just it for day number two. Plenty of scenes left, actually, before... Plenty of cutscene left before the episode ends, actually. Oh, bullshit! I noticed it! Huh? Again? That voice! You recognize the voice? I mean, she has a really recognizable voice, but... I think the looks would be, a, be easier to notice. Oh, I forgot about this. Enough summoning noise. Watch yourself. So this is technically a boss battle. You have to kill this uh red core hog thing. 
You just focus your attacks on that if you want. If you uh, want to get, get this over with quickly. If you don't want to get over with quickly, I just, uh, recommend take out the wolves actually. But that ended up happening anyways. And okay, she was just not attacking that thing at all. That's what happens when you only pay attention to one screen. I find that earlier in the game, I actually pay less attention to both screens, even though it should technically be easier to do so, because you have less going on, but whatever. Later on, you'll find that I'm actually going to pay attention to both screens at once, like I should. Yay, she's getting more powerful, and you s randomly get an, a pin, but whatever. It's a half-decent pin. I guess that Korhog thing supposedly dropped it. Korhog is a type of noise that are based off of hedgehogs. That big red, black and red thing that we killed was a core hog. <laughs> Enough of the noise. At least, I don't think you'd really have any chance of taking her on. At least you have somewhat of a chance if you, of surviving if you didn't, so... Um... <laughs> Such a bonus challenge. Shut up. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, it would be nice if this if there was different music playing and then it cut to miss the music when you said I race her, but oh well. Kaput! You or her, I guess. This is totally happening <laughs> over the course of more than 30 seconds. Huh? <laughs> that was 20 seconds, sure. <laughs> 